Hey guys, how are you? It's been a while. I'm finally back, this time with a little tutorial of how to make custom textures for Angel of Darkness in PS2. The only thing we need is the last update of the PS2 emulator that I have here. As you can see, I have my custom Lara already done. She looks really good and it's very easy to make, so don't worry. This is a very quick process and there's nothing to worry about. As you can see, I gave her the jeans texture over the camo pants and it looks surprisingly good to be honest. So the only thing we have to do is go to settings and graphics, here graphics. And be sure to have this option in render. We have to choose direct 12. Once we have that, we just have to go to here, texture replacement. And this is where we're gonna do our custom textures. Uh, I have this one check because I'm gonna explain you how it works. It's really fast and easy to be honest. This is my mod. And this is the original. Yes, just with one click, we have our mod. Okay. Okay, so now we just have to check this option called Dump Textures. This is gonna load every texture that is present in the screen. So if you want to change the this outfit for Lara, just click it. and now we're gonna open the folder where the textures are uh, now we have to go to this folder called dumps and <laughs> don't be scared because I know it's scary seeing all these textures flying around but we just have to find Lara and it's easy to see because it's this one this is Lara textures this is her model and we're gonna copy this file we're gonna copy and paste it here where it says replacements as you can see I have some other custom textures that I did I didn't try it too much but I want to make more mods eventually so we have to paste the fill the file here and you need Photoshop or whatever program you use to to just do some quick edits. Okay, so I use GIMP, very very easy program to use, and I'm gonna drop the file here to show you how it's done. Okay, so you're gonna see that the texture is transparent. Uh, this is not a problem really, but I like to make this thing to see the texture more solid. And what I do is duplicate the layer of this texture. Duplicate, duplicate, until you see it like solid with no transparent with no transparency and okay I think it's done so now we have the solid texture of all camo pants outfit like you know for example we're gonna get the pants and put it blue or whatever you know this is just a demonstration and once you have your thing done, just save the file and let's go back to the emulation. And here in the emulation, be sure to not have in the load texture option click. But once you have your texture saved, now click and you will see your texture in the game like this voila really easy process really quick and 
and it's honestly really fun.